We have not discussed Miss Thang, Whitney Waythor, in a minute. So, I think it's about time we catch up and get a little update on what Whitney has been up to. Whitney is like many of us because I'm like this, okay? I'm guilty of this. She likes to point out what everybody points out, the negative. So, she captioned this, the second most annoying thing I see commented. Can anyone guess the first? It's her weight because she's talked about that a lot. Is for me to stop using filters and Photoshop to appear thinner. So here's a reminder that I have literally never used a filter or Photoshop to alter size of my body, face, or features unless it's in stories with the mustache filter because I legitimately love that look for me. If I were going to change the way I look, I'd probably deal with my acne and melasma first. No shade to anyone who does use filters. I post regularly with 10 pounds of makeup on. But no filters or Photoshop for me. And then she goes on to say, and these braces are going to come off soon, blah, blah, blah. I don't know why people are so pressed about the filters. Because literally everybody I see uses a filter on Instagram or whatever, whenever they post on a story or whatever, or like a reel or a video, everybody uses a filter that I see. It all has the little filter thing up there. So I'm like, well, what's the big deal? Who cares? So moving on from that, Whitney recently celebrated her birthday and captioned a video, which we will view here in just a second. But she captioned it, just a little glimpse into my 39th birthday. Lenny, Painted my toenails and gave me a blowout with my Dyson. No, I'm not joking. Y'all, please, find you an ex like this. TLC sent me a portrait of Goosey to match the ones they sent me of the cats in years last. My wonderful crew sang me happy birthday and got me an ice cream cake and Glenn Thorpe finagled a surprise birthday dinner with all of my friends. I feel so loved as I head into my 40th how year and thank you to y'all for all the birthday wishes as well now let's get into this video she posted along with this caption there's only one way to do it and yeah, i'm screwing it up i think it looks good okay let me get the other How sweet of her sweet daddy to do this and put this together. Oh, Glenn Thor. I love me some Glenn. I know y'all do too. Sweet man. Look at him in the corner. Oh, my heart. But anyway, such a sweet birthday. Such a sweet, thoughtful thing for all of these people to do for Whitney. Okay, let's get into the tea. Y'all. Whitney recently posted this, and she discusses, I guess she's still in a relationship with this quote-unquote French man. Did we not already reveal this French man's identity a couple of years ago? I was like, are we still on this? I'm confused. Just listen. Hey, y'all. I'm doing the Tinder How We Started Challenge. Unfortunately, doing it alone because my boyfriend is in France. Who sent the first message on Tinder? He did, and he super liked me. Hey, y'all. I'm doing the Tinder How We Started Challenge. Unfortunately, doing it alone because my boyfriend is in France. Who sent the first message on Tinder? He did, and he super liked me. <laughs> um... Honestly, okay, so French people have this thing where if they mean, like, I don't know, they go, <laughs> and I had to get over that because it, well, is an ick. I feel nervous. Uh, just their overall attractiveness. I am so physically attracted to this person, and it was a relief because I pretty much fell in love with them before I ever saw them. I feel nervous. Mm, favorite memory, I would say going to 
the Louvre. Um, it's something I always wanted to do. I was also really hot and sweaty that day, but like seeing the Mona Lisa in person uh, was something off my bucket list and it was a really nice day together. A me. <laughs> I said it uh, pretty early and that was the first time I've ever said I love you to someone first. Uh, <laughs> ironically, it's me. Y'all, it's in my My Big Fat Fabulous Life playlist. I know it is. Go dig through there for me. <laughs> I'll dig through later, okay? But if you want to look right this second, right now, while you're watching this video, or right after you watch it, go dig through my playlist. It is in there. We discussed the French man way back when. Now, I thought that was a Dunzo deal. What am I missing? What? I'm like, is this Groundhog's Day? I know I'm missing something. So y'all fill me in. I know you will. And hey, if you got any insider tea, because I know I got a lot of subscribers over there uh, close to Whitney. If you got any insider tea, if you have spotted them out and about filming them being Whitney, her friends, Whitney and the film crew, anybody related to TLC or Whitney and this show, if you've seen them out and about, if you have any insider knowledge, look, you can always remain anonymous. I'm not going to uh, throw you under the bus. <laughs> uh-uh. Just hit my email up, backwoodsbarbiebiz at gmail.com. We will discuss it all, and we will spill all the tea. And like I said, you can always remain anonymous. Be sure you like and share this video. One thing that I did notice, and we can gather from all this, is that they are filming, so... We have new content on its way, and I'm guessing the French man will be in the season since she decided to do a whole segment talking <laughs> about the French man again. I'm like, okay, good teaser. I seen that. I picked that Easter egg up, and now I am rehiding it for everybody else. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all comment your thoughts and opinions, smash that subscribe button, click the bell to all, that way you'll be notified whenever YouTube sends out notifications. I love you so much for watching, and I will see y'all in my next video.